Hello! Pasir is three, the oath in Felgana, or something like that. <laughs> East the Oath in Felgana is the actual title. But uh, yeah, in between episodes, I both finished off the level that was partially finished and got one more level up because it didn't take very long. So uh, yeah, now we're probably ready for the boss, maybe. Okay, giant clump of ice still. Hey, I actually deal like not ones and twos when I'm... Okay, yeah, I'm dealing like double damage compared to the initial attempt. Ow. Turns out being bit by a dragon is the stuff. Oh, and I got grabbed. Ah, and I got killed by crashing into spiky rocks. So yeah, that's the attack I've seen crash the game, but it didn't. So yeah, I feel like this fight, you just need a lucky run, and then... I don't know. Maybe these attacks are like dodgeable by experts. But I'm not one. So I just like to jump a lot and hope. And we've got him a third of the way down without taking damage. And then suddenly, like, a lot of our life is gone. Okay, next time I knock him down, I should use boost mode. Oh! I went the wrong way. Okay, I think they always alternate. Oops. No, they don't. I could have done way better at that attack. Because that attack actually is something I used to be able to dodge properly. That is, it is possible to dodge getting grabbed, by the way. Oh, I ran out of mana! So I think I should stick to one side, rather than staying in the middle and trying to just crash through all of them. initial part is silly. So once he starts going in the air, then the problems begin. Ah. Oh. oh. I think I ran out of mana, but we're still okay-ish. Really? I ran into a spike that was on the ground and it hurt because he was about to blow them around. Ah. 
Anyway, I think you get the idea with this fight. Fortunately, the grab doesn't deal damage. Huh. Most of them on the left. Oh, don't run up right away. Really? You were just in the air. Oh, and we're dead, because I didn't react. Waste the boost mode. Oh, and I'm dead. Alright, I'm safe. Oh! And I couldn't do anything, because I'd left too many icicles, and I got blown into the bottom middle. Stop him from ah. It's almost funny how vulnerable he is at the beginning compared to near the end of the fight. When he's like, no, I'm in the air half the fight. In the other half of the fight I'm blowing, so you can't get to me. Oh no, and yeah, the third half of the fight, this attack's going on. Wait out that whole shockwave thing. Nice! Got him with the boost mode. <sighs> Can kind of deal a lot of damage at once with it. So we're at 1445, statue collected, a light statue, that's still the fourth one, right? Oh, the four statues began resonating with one another, emitting an unnatural light in the process. Okay, and the light faded and the cavern grew deathly quiet. I guess I'm probably just supposed to warp and go back to town. Oh no, there's a cave in. I'm probably not allowed to warp. The rocks were packed too tightly to be broken with the terror bracelet. The door was trapped. And Dogie's like, hey, I got across that giant gap somehow even though I didn't have the wind thing. You know, you hurt? And Dole shouted back that he was uninjured, and glad to hear your buddy's okay. Oh, the quake caused some of the crevice walls to collapse, managed to pick your way across though. Now we gotta do something about the rocks, and we need to step back for a bit. Here we go. Yeah. He punched those rocks. Okay. Wall zero, Dogie the wall crusher like a million, who needs doors? That was a new record, too. Never took down solid rock before. Okay, and yeah, we found another statue. Is that all? We should head back. Oh yeah, actually, I don't think I could have opened the menu, because it's a boss room. Chester, you here? I'm, I'm just thinking about why I wouldn't be able to warp. Okay, and Chester's been well appraised of our actions. We have all four statues now. And he demands them. Yeah, best give them to you. There's just one thing I need to know what are you planning on doing with them. Okay, gotta, gotta not question him. 
Uh, you cannot entirely plead ignorance because he's heard rumblings about the plan. It's not what I asked you. I want to know what you plan to do with him. Okay, how long have you known? From the very beginning. You didn't believe for a second that you had felt such contempt towards Elena. That's just not you. Couldn't really see you serving someone as obviously corrupt as McGuire. Not willingly, anyway. Gotta have something else up your sleeve. Your oafish exterior belies your perceptive nature. It always has. Out with the Chester, what are you really up to? Okay, suppose this is as good a time as any, but I seek his revenge. Revenge? You were born in Flagata, so undoubtedly you're familiar with Genos Island, no? Never told you this before, but that's the land where my sister and I were born. Wait a second, I always heard that Genos Island was wiped out by some kind of plague or something. Indeed, we speak in the same place, however, it was not a plague, but monsters that brought about the island's ruin. Monsters? Yes, monsters with the appearance of human skeletons clad in armor. They appeared out of nowhere and simply started massacring all the villagers. Warriors fought back, of course, but the creatures just wouldn't stay dead and stood no chance. In the end, Elena and I were the sole survivors of the attack. Why? Why would monsters suddenly appear? There was no random occurrence, and therein lies the rub. McGuire was directly responsible for the massacre. He enlisted the services of a dark sorcerer for the task. Yeah, we, we've seen him. Okay, my people were the descendants of Genos himself, who were charged with guarding the holy artifacts and locked away the Demon Lord's power to present the, uh, prevent mis misuse. I would assume McGuire simply considered us the threat to admit his ambitions, and so that's how you were orphaned and came to live in Redmond. It's no surprise that Elena's memories of these events have been suppressed given their extreme horrific nature. So, Chester wants revenge on McGuire. He'll be destroyed by the very power he seeks. And he won't be the only one. You'll see that every living creature in Valstein Castle is destroyed. And then, maybe justice can be had. Okay. And your anger and hatred will be appeased. And why don't we hand over the statues? You know, we're not sure how we're supposed to react. Can't pretend to know how you feel, but hear me out. Let's say your plan succeeds and you do get your revenge. What then? Do you think it'll make you and Elena happy? Fire might be a horrible man and might deserve it, but imagine how Lena would feel. Do you think she'd be proud of it? You step back and think about it, and then you'll find some other less drastic way to deal with fire. If I explained everything to the townsfolk, they'd understand. It maybe help. You could maybe drive McGuire into exile. Don't have to disgrace yourself. So come on. Please, come back to town. Maybe we have a home cooked meal with Lena. And no, he can't go back. There's no turning back. And I... Chest. There's still time to save him. If you want him to live, give him the statues. Excellent. Sure. Okay, now he can use the power of the statues. May I want to reconsider stopping Chester. Unless we want to end up like Dogi. Strong and able to crush rock walls. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, can't believe Chester attacked Dogi. This is actually all Bernhard's fault. I guess. Twelve years ago, you were Velstein Knight, and you were there on Genos Island. Your task was to provide backup for the sorcerer, so yeah. You were to terminate any villagers who tried to escape, and you didn't destroy the Stoddard children. You hid them instead. You snuck them away from the carnage, but you knew you couldn't raise them, so you left them with the mayor. You ran away to the shack, and you've been researching the choir's plans, and the old tales, and Chester never knew of your knighthood. But he was wearing that I'd saved his life, and so he and Dogi would often visit. And so you trained them in the art of war. Dogi's departure aside, things continued until just last year. And there were monsters, and Chester came to see you in a panic. And they reminded him of Genos Island. And so you told him everything. Okay. And all it did was make Chester want revenge. You don't have the slightest idea what he intends to do with statues, but if he's willing to stab an old friend to get them, doubt there's much hope of talking him down. Okay, and he'll harm all of Felgana. Gotta tell the mayor, and you'll take care, care of Dogi, and you intend to pay the castle a visit. Okay! So now that we've had, like, 
seven minutes of people talking. Let's, like, go back to town and have more talk. Whoa. Forgot about this. You look alive. We're in a bad way. You were attacked by soldiers from Balstein. Gotta save the townspeople. Okay. You're scared? Sure. And the one is there with you. Okay. Please let her go. And we're here. Exclamation mark. <laughs> and of course the NPCs here are invincible. They exploded. Oh. I wonder if you can continue here if you die. Because you can open the camp menu. It's not a boss fight. That would be awful to need to do the dragon fight again. But it's probably unlikely that you'll die there if you beat the dragon. Okay, you're welcome for saving you. We are a lifesaver. But why would the soldiers attack us? And what's wrong? Look even more flustered than you are. Okay, Dola reluctantly told her that her brother had stabbed Dogi in the Elder Mountains. And why would he do that? You two okay? Yeah, okay, and they're all here. Because she wasn't at the church. She's alright. And yeah, it all saved people. And yeah, they were told to seek shelter. Okay. And she was trying to find Anya. Can hardly blame her. Can't believe Maguire's grown so brazen, though, to send his soldiers. Maybe worse than that, actually. Did you get a good look at them as they attacked? Something about them seemed off. None of them spoke a word, and their movements were like those of wooden dolls dangling from strings. Okay, yeah, we're not safe here. Should return to the mayor's house, where it's, like, a much more safe somehow. And, yeah, the doll should be in on this. Okay, I had no idea Chester was hiding a secret like that. we have been under your roof for ten years, and you didn't question where he was from, you feel like a fool. But, yeah, don't blame yourself. Gotta focus on the castle. Chester's planning to take revenge using the statues. Are they in some way responsible for the lifeless Solon's appearance of our attackers? Seems that way. Now would probably be a good time to get in touch with Bishop Nicholas. Excuse you? What's wrong? You're white as a ghost. Soldiers haven't returned, have they? No, it's just you haven't seen Elena. And when you ask the children where she went, it seems she's left town again. What? That's not good. You must have heard about Chester and gone to the castle. Probably a safe assumption, softly rash. Dear you. Sorry to ask, but will we find Elena? Sure. Yeah, I don't agree. No problem. Okay, imagine what you must think of us. You know, pray for our health and success. So yeah, this game has two escort missions in it, because that was necessary. I don't have any new items, there's nothing else to buy at the blacksmith. I'd like to save my data though. So we'll do the escort mission, and then probably end up the episode. She's just outside the front of the castle. Oh yeah, that was the mountains. This way's the castle. This here's where we initially arrived in Felgana. Doc. I thought Elena was gonna be here. The fog started pouring out of the clock tower and everybody changed. It's like they got the life sucked out of them. Uh, Fran, who are you? Okay, has anyone seen Elena? Soldiers and the other maids just attacked you, you were scared, and ran here. What happened to everyone? I think maybe we escort someone else from the castle later. 
I don't actually remember who the second escort is. It's not like a doxy shit. Nope. Minor amounts of money. Can't actually fall down there. Probably because you would need double jump to get back. Actually, maybe she is inside the castle. I arbitrarily wanted to check into the mountains for some reason. So yeah, we, we won't be doing that this episode then. Uh, that's it for this part. Next part, going into the castle. See ya!